Welcome to Susquehanna Express. Today we're talking to Ron Salzman, who is the Disaster Response Coordinator for the conference. Thank you for coming, Ron. You're welcome. Um, you started this position officially in January. Can you tell us a little bit about what interested you in um, putting a lot of time into disaster response? Um, for a number of months, I've been looking for a longer term mission, more than just uh, one or two weeks. And I was expecting to go to Costa Rica for a couple months. Um, when that didn't work out, God closed that door. And about two weeks later, Larry Seekinen called and offered me um, the recovery coordinator position for Northumberland County. And that's how I got involved. So okay. I've been doing that since. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about your mission background? My mission background, I've been going on missions um, for about 15 years now. Um, I try to do at least two weeks every year um, prior to. Um, I've spent time in Peru. I've met, uh, spent trips to Alaska, um, Costa Rica, to the Gulf, um, along with um, regional and you know just around the block. Um, try to find something to do every summer. How do you see missions as a way to help you live out your faith? If you believe in your faith, then missions is a natural follow-up from that. Um, it's we're called by Christ to step out. You know, to go forth and do and be disciples and show our space or our faith through our actions, and that's how I'd plan to live. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, what are your, some of your goals as the coordinator to help other people to live out their faith in that way? Um, one thing that we need to increase is the communication. Um, the communication levels right now, uh, we're unaware of how many people have been trained in the conference, uh, there are lists of names, but we need to coordinate all of those. We also need to make sure that people who are interested in missions, doing mission work, that they can receive the training that they need before they go on missions. What kind of training is that? Um, usually you're taught during the training session on how to go and interact with the people where you're going. Um, going not necessarily to share your faith, but to live your faith. Um, not to impose yourself upon others, but just to be a Christian and let that shine through, let that speak for you. Mm -hmm. um, what are some ways that you are um, reaching out to let people know that these opportunities for them to get trained are available here at the conference? There's a missional board website and the missional um, opportunities for training are listed on there. Um, right now I believe there's three or four. There's an ERT early response team training okay. coming up. Um, there's a volunteers and mission training. Um, the ones that we need to increase would be um, the spiritual care teams. So uh, the training sessions have to come so that we can get more and more people involved. And as others get involved, that's going to snowball. Spiritual care trainings, I don't really remember learning about those ones. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Uh, spiritual care is probably the most important part of um, disaster response. Um, the people who provide the spiritual care are trained in how to go and listen to the people who suffered from the disaster um, okay. to be the shoulder they lean on and the person that they talk to. And it's important for the long term because um, people, when they've suffered a loss like that, they need someone to, that they can rely on um, during the early stages when they're dealing with government agencies. And they also need someone to talk to throughout the recovery stage to help them grow through that period. So spiritual care should be there from the beginning to the end. Oh, wow. Not just a weekly basis. Wow, that's a really neat commitment and a way to mm -hmm. really connect with someone else. Um, yes. And it is important to be that counsel for someone, especially in a, a traumatic event um, like a disaster. And I just, um, I'm going to encourage any of you out there who um, enjoy perhaps more the one-on-one -on -one contact with people and not so much the actual building of things um, to consider coming out to one of these trainings for the spiritual care or for the other ones as well. And you can check out my Facebook page for more information at Susquehanna Express. <laughs>